I was up last night thinking about it. It's that exciting, isn't it? And once you're pregnant, there's nothing they can do. So, I've stopped taking the pill. How long is it before it stops working? Well, the doctor says it's risky missing one, so any time, I suppose. Well, we don't have to be back for a bit, so we can nip off over there if you want. No way are we starting our baby in there. You? How are we going to manage to get time together? I don't know. You know Dad's not going to let you near me. My dad's not going to let me near you, so... Unless you're going what they want. We're not giving up, Andy. Not ever. If they think that we're finished, they're not going to be bothered what we do, are they? Andy's being a right pain. The back door's practically been slammed off its hinges. Yeah, well, I did warn you about coming down too hard, Dan. I keep thinking back to what I were like at that age. Oh, can you remember that far back? Took me all my time to talk to a lass. I might do anything else. Yeah, well, I can't seem to get it into Andy's head that it's all for his own good. What is it, yours? Come off it, Sin. They're far too young to be joined at the hip. Yeah, but kids are different. They grow up fast. I mean, they're more mature than we were. Because they're full of daft ideas from all the rubbish they watch on TV. But they were grown up enough to admit to how they felt about each other and honest about what they were doing. Good job they did. Otherwise, next thing we'd have Katie coming home telling me she's pregnant. God forbid. You two don't think you've heard last of this, do you? I know kids that age. And more you tell them what they can't do, more determined they are to do it. Not my Katie. To be honest, I think it's a relief to her, me putting my foot down. Sometimes kids need to test boundaries, rules. Makes them feel more secure to know where they stand. And I'm dead, dead sorry. Are you? She never told Robert you thought you were pregnant. I had no idea how much trouble it would cause. Yeah, well, it's not your fault Robert can't wait to put the boot in for Andy, is it? So we're still friends? I suppose we are. Remember to keep your trap shut next time. Cross my heart. Well, not that it's going to be a next time. Look, Luce, you know, probably done me a favour. How's that? Me and Andy. It was all just too messy. <clears throat> all this hassle just made me realise it's not going to work. So I'll finish with him. It's over. Tea up. Robert can have it. <clears throat> He's just told me about you and Katie. Have a good laugh, did you? What happened? She was so sick of you and Brian having a go. She finished with me. Maybe it's for the best. Yeah, of course it is. You know, you and Katie just jumped in at the deep end. You're both too young to get so serious. So I'm not old enough to have feelings, is that what you're saying? Look, your first girlfriend is always special. When it all ends, you think you'll never meet anyone else. But you do. So where did you go wrong? At your age, Andy, you should be out with the lads, playing the field, having fun. There's plenty of time for settling down when you're older. Trust me, you'll get over Katie before you know it. I don't care what you said, Ed. I'll never get over Katie. You know where I am if you need me. I can feel the warm inside running around my mind. Here I go. I'm still scratching around in the same old. How did it go? Good. You believe me? Yeah? Me too. I can't believe it was so easy. Me neither. So what do you say? You can't give me the dreams of the mind anyway. Half the world away. We've done it, haven't we? We've really done it. There's no going back. Night, Andy. I love you. I love you too.